You like grappling hooks, do ya? You convinced me, they are pretty cool, so I guess I'll add one to my game. Luckily, it's the perfect time to add a grappling hook, because over the past month, I've been going through and upgrading all the movement in my game. For example, have you seen one of those parkour YouTube videos where one of those guys jumps off a roof and does a little roly poly? And it's like they felt nothing after falling 100 meters. Well, I made a roll so you can feel like a real life parkourist or whatever they're called. There is one small, tiny little problem though. I have to do an animation for it. And unfortunately, I do have the animation skills of a monkey. So after about one uh, amount of time later, the animation is done and it's time to add it to the game. I made it so you have to hit the roll button if your downwards velocity is super high when you hit the ground. If you don't, then you lose all your momentum and get this super jarring camera shake effect to let you know that you suck. If you get the timing right though, you then smash out this sick roll and you maintain your momentum. Another thing real life parkourists do is vaults and climb ups and stuff. And let me tell you, I really wanted a piece of that action because I'm very horny for parkour. There are climb ups in a lot of games, from Doom to Apex to Mirror's Edge. They all kill your momentum though, and that kinda sucks in my opinion. I ain't gonna be making no sucky ass game with some sucky ass climb up. So what I think I'll do is make the animation a bit faster and also return your incoming velocity to you at the end of each climb up. What this means is that you maintain your flow and speed, which is tray tray good. Bonjour monsieur et mademoiselle. If you did not know that is French for very very good. Thank you friends daddy for that excellent explanation. But did you know that polish is actually the secret behind what makes a game good? My game needs to be good, so I'm now forced to add polish. You may be thinking, forced? Who is forcing you to add polish? And it's Barry. He says, if I don't polish my game, he's gonna make me into a tomato soup. But I don't wanna be a tomato soup. The main thing I need to polish is the basic movement, because it turns out that's really important. I recently played the demo of Shady Knight, and it's super good. You should definitely go play it on Steam. Oh, and while you're on Steam, you should just type in Kick Bastards, then press this little button here. In Shady Knight, they do this thing where they tilt the camera when you strafe left or right, and honestly, it's super lit. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> borrow that? It's now our feature. Thank you, comrades, for your contribution. Another little detail my game really needs is some animation variety. Currently, the kicks in the game all use this one animation, but they do different things. So that needs to be fixed. I'll just quickly pop into Blender and work my magic. Now we have this tasty double kick for attacking enemies, and for the normal kick, I added a left leg version too, when you're kicking stuff on the left. Yo bro, stop delaying. You gotta add that grappling hook. Yeah, I nearly forgot. I did say I'd add a grappling hook, didn't I? I'll start by quickly making the animations I need for it in Blender. Then I'll take it over to Unreal, where I have to do the hard part, which is writing the code. The way we want the swing to work is by taking the player's current velocity and then mapping it to a tangent around an imaginary sphere around the grappling point. We can do this in code by using some dot product wizardry. So this is what it looks like in game. You may be wondering though, why the grappling hook is not a traditional hook, but instead the player's left foot, and the answer to that is... Don't you dare question me, I'm a creative goddamn genius! And you know what's that, no, you know, the game's about kicking stuff, so you gotta keep on with him, you know? You should have had a new stage, bro! Who, who keeps shouting stuff at me? New stage! Thinking about it, there is a new area I want to add to the game. When swapping stages, the player is going to jump into a portal and then get sent to the next area of the game. I want this to be a small, playable level to make the portal experience more narratively immersive. I'm thinking it's going to be a cross between like a wormhole and some fancy floating island rock thingy. Wait, what's happening to me? Where are my legs? Ah! I'm being pulled into the Zuckerberg! <laughs> I started by modeling some rocks in Blender, and I made a few different ones for some variety. Nice! 
but they are feeling a bit static, so I'll set up a blueprint which gently rotates them and moves them up and down a bit. I feel like movement in general is super important to make levels feel alive. You may have noticed a cool particle effect in that last clip. I set this up using Unreal's particle system and then just plonked it in the level to make it feel a bit wormholy, you know? The level needs a few final details, so I quickly modelled and set up some small objects to make it feel like the portal had been used before by some other people. Here's the final result, and it's actually looking pretty sick. So there we have it, some big changes the last month or so. I hope you enjoyed the video, and remember, subscribe or I'll burn your house down. See you later, losers.